This program contains material of a disturbing nature. Viewer discretion is advised. It's the Christmas holidays, and Sandra is eight months pregnant with the couple's second child. That Christmas, we had a lot of family in town. It was a really joyous day. That night, around 3 AM, I woke up, and I felt a lot of water in the bed. I woke my husband up, and I said, I think that my water broke. I said, oh, no, this is four weeks early, but not a big deal. Neil rushes Sandra to the hospital, where doctors perform a C-section. The C-section went very smoothly. About 30 minutes later, we had our daughter. She had beautiful blue eyes, and she had a blonde head of hair. We named her Lily and Grace Salerno. It was a really happy day. <laughs> After a few days, Sandra and Neil take Lillian home. Two months later, Sandra takes Lillian in for a checkup. The doctor saw that her weight was developing appropriately. She had a good height. But then the doctor measured her head circumference and said that Lillian's head size was measuring much smaller than it should be, even accounting for her prematurity. My pediatrician wasn't overly worried, so I didn't overreact to that news. Sandra takes Lillian home. Over the next four months, Sandra and Neil keep a close eye on their daughter's development. When Lillian was around six months of age, we were in the living room playing with toys. When I held the toy in front of her left hand, she did nothing to reach for it. However, when I held the same toy in front of her right side, she wanted to play and engage with it. That really struck me as odd. As a mother, my instinct was that something was wrong with my daughter. But everything else was normal, so I didn't think anything of it. Then one night, Sandra is getting Lillian ready for bed. I had just finished giving her her evening bath. I noticed she started jerking her left arm. And she appeared to be staring blankly. I was wondering if maybe what I saw was a seizure. Seizures occur as a result of abnormal electrical activity in the brain. My fears are now heightened even more. 